Hello, today I will, I will be going through a tutorial on how to get set up with a Google Voice account. Google Voice can be used with any type of phone and most cell phone providers. Google Voice is a new communication software that offers many different features. The software allows you to receive and respond to text messages, messages to your email. You can even have voicemails transcribed and sent to you through a text message to your phone or as an email. To get started, you want to open a new internet browser. Go to www.google.com forward slash voice. Your screen should now look like this. On the Google Voice Home website, you first have two options. If you already have a Google account, you can sign in as usual. However, if you do not have a Google account, you will have to click on the Create an Account icon. On this page, you will need to fill in all requested information. And then you will click this icon, I accept create my account. Once you click on that icon, an email will be sent to your email inbox that contains a link to confirm your account. While signing up for Google Voice, you will not need to confirm your account just yet because Google allows partial access to complete Google Voice setup. If you did not create a new account, then enter your email and password to sign in. Now, if you did or did not have to start a new account, you're, you should be at this screen. First, you will need to select your Google number. The best way that I have found to search for a Google number is through area code. You could also search for a Google number through city, zip code, word, phrase, or even number. The interesting thing about your Google voice number is that you do not have to use an area code that is in your area. Once you have typed in your area code, click search available numbers. Several numbers will be displayed. You can select any of these. Like I said before, it does not really matter which one you select. Once you have selected your Google number, click continue. The next step asks for a four-digit PIN number. These digits can be whatever you want them to be. The PIN number will be used to access your voicemail, so write down this PIN for your records. Once you have entered in your PIN, you will want to select this box, indicating that you accept all terms. You can read into those by clicking this link. However, for now, we will continue. After clicking continue, you will be brought to the third out of four steps. This step asks you to provide a forwarding phone number, such as your mobile, home, or work number. You can select which type of phone you will be using by clicking this drop down arrow. What a forwarding number is, is this will be the phone that will be receiving any calls made to your Google number. When you enter in your forwarding number, your number can include parentheses between your digits. It could also include hyphens between your numbers. Or it cannot. It could just be your straight phone number. You can enter it either any of those ways. After clicking continue, you will now see your forwarding number displayed at the top of your screen as well as a two digit number boxed in at the bottom. This step is this step is here to verify your forwarding number. What you will want to do is click call me now. Once you click call me now, Google Voice will call your phone. 
Once you answer the call, a voice recording will direct you to enter in your two-digit code using your keypad on your phone. The code that you will be entering is a two-digit number, however, it will most likely be different than my code on my screen. The last thing you will want to do is click finish and congrats, your Google Voice number has now been set up.